Hey everyone and welcome back to my lagoon tank. Things have been going fairly well in this tank since I swapped stands about a month ago. I do seem to be having a little bit of a diatone problem on the sand bed, but I'm thinking it's probably caused by a combination of the shifting sand from when I moved the tank and the lack of snails because they have started to die off. It's about time for me to place another order and get my snails replenished. I do have a few ideas of what I can do to get rid of all of the diatoms. So far it's not a huge issue for my tank, so I'm not too worried. What I wanted to do today was show you guys what I did with the inside of my Innovative Marine APS stand. Please be aware that I did not consult with Innovative Marine before I modified the inside. I really hope the changes I made okay, but since nothing I did to the stand is permanent anyways, I think I'm good. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, so here's how I have the stand set up. On the bottom, I have some throw blankets in a plastic tote. Um, I then used 24 inch long 1x4s as legs in each of the four corners to support a plywood shelf cut to fit inside the stand. I have two power strips held down, held in place with 3M command strips and I have them organized one on the left and one on the right. The right side power strip is all of the equipment I have that is always on. My nano box light, which takes up three outlets, it has power for the LEDs, power for the fan, and power for the bluefish, and my neotherm heater is also plugged in. Again, these are items that are pretty much always on. The left side power strip has individual switches for each outlet. I have two power heads, the return pump, and an auto top off plugged in here. I switch these items off and on during feeding and water changes, so this was the best way to be able to do that easily. I also have the controller for my RW4 mounted inside the door. However, and maybe you guys can help me with this, I do have it up here with 3M command hooks, but they're always falling off. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't really stick to the aluminum um, frame of the stand as well as this, whatever, this inside part is made out of. Um, so maybe you guys have some other suggestions on how I can mount um, this uh, controller to the door. So if you have any suggestions on that, um, like I said, it's held up by 3M command hooks. They're not really sticking very well. So give me your suggestions on that. One thing I needed to consider about the stand while deciding what to do with the inside was how the bottom of the stand is made. As you can see in the manual, there are two aluminum support arms on the bottom of the stand frame and a piece of PVC foam board to make the bottom flat. The board is not very thick and it's not secured to the frame in any way. I decided to put some duct tape underneath the board to secure it a little better because if you were to put pressure on the far left or far right side, the opposite side would come up. The tape helps prevent this from happening. The legs are being held in place with 3M command strips as well. Again, they don't hold the best, but they do their job. I didn't want any of these modifications to be permanent because I may change my mind about how I want the inside organized, and I also plan to move within the next year, and I didn't want to mess with the structural integrity of the stand because I will be using the stand once I move. I'll have to take it apart and put it back together. This means that while the shelf I made is uh, very handy for simple electrical items, it's in no way capable of holding more than a few pounds. The only thing holding the plywood shelf in place is gravity and a little bit of pressure from the weight of the power strips and cables. So the way I have this set up is working great so far. I really am already looking to make a change. On my old stand, the auto top off container fit on the stand behind my tank. So now as you can see, it's sitting in between my two tanks. It's really not the best spot, especially because the electrical for my 10 gallon tank is right below the auto top off container. I'm going to look for a smaller tote for my blankets and I'll probably move the auto top off water container to the inside of the stand. The only issue to consider then is if the small pump will be strong enough to get water to my other tank since I am sharing one auto top off container between the two tanks. I hope you guys like what I did with the inside of my APS stand. 
If you have any questions or any suggestions, of course, leave them down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.